Tesla confirms Autopilot was engaged in the fatal Model X crash. Tesla leadership puts out a motivational message to factory workers, a look at the new nav engine, and more. This is Tesla Tidbits, episode number 385 for April 2nd, 2018. Tesla released a new blog post updating the situation with the fatal Model X accident. Unfortunately, Tesla tells us that Autopilot was indeed enabled during the crash. Tesla asserts that the driver hadn't had their hands on the wheel for six seconds prior to the crash, while having five seconds and 150 feet of unobstructed view available to them. Unfortunately, it seems that yet again we have an instance of a driver not being attentive with Autopilot enabled, and clearly Autopilot did something squirrely. Assuming that this was an AP2 car, I have a feeling I know what occurred. Having spent some time with the new software, one of the new things available is its ability to understand when two lanes become one or vice versa. If you look at the crash site, it appears to be where an exit ramp split from the main highway. It would seem that the car detected what it thought was a new, wider lane that was available to it and moved to what it thought was the center of that lane, but was unfortunately the divider parting the highway from the off-ramp. And on top of that, of course, the accordion barricade intended to lessen the impact of exactly this crash was already flattened, providing no protection. This is far different than the Joshua Brown crash, where I firmly believe that a medical event was actually the root cause of that crash. My heart goes out to the family that lost their family member. This is another sobering reminder that autopilot isn't perfect, and you must keep your hands on the wheel, and you must always be attentive to the road. We move over to Bloomberg, where Dana Hull has found communication from Tesla leadership urging the factory workers on toward that 300-vehicle-per-day goal that would bring them darn close to the 2,500-per-week goal before the end of Q1 set by Elon. In two internal memos, Chief of Engineering Doug Field told workers that it would be a, quote, incredible victory, end quote, during the current climate where short sellers are assaulting the company. Field spurred on workers, saying, quote, Let's make them regret ever betting against us. You will prove a bunch of haters wrong. End quote. Field admits that at the time he wrote the memo, that Tesla was making more than 200 cars a day on each line while urging workers to bust through the 300 per day number while still keeping quality high. Field wrote, quote, The world is watching us very closely to understand one thing. How many Model 3s can Tesla build in a week? This is a critical moment in Tesla's history, and there are a number of reasons it's so important. You should pick the one that hits you in the gut and makes you want to win, end quote. Also of note in the same article, Hull reports that Tesla is ahead of schedule for Model S and Model X deliveries for the quarter, and an unspecified number of workers from those lines would move to assist the Model 3 production last Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. We'll likely get to see sometime Monday exactly what rate the company was able to finish the quarter with. Electrek tells us that the new nav engine is in the wild and brings us a couple of videos from YouTube channel Tesla Events. The binnacle nav and voice directions are much improved. I particularly like the panning and zooming of the binnacle display as you near your turns. Another new addition to the binnacle display is the labeling of streets prior to your turn. This is crucial as it can give you a much better idea of how close you are to your next action. I love the addition. Unfortunately, it's not made it to my car yet, which I hope it somehow does before I leave on a trip on Thursday. Check out the videos and get a look at the new hotness. Again at Electret, we get some long-awaited news for Model 3 owners. Finally, the right scroll wheel has been activated, and as made the most sense, it is to control cruise speed and follow distance. Scrolling up and down increases or decreases speed, and toggling left or right increases or decreases follow distance. Not sure what took so long to get this implemented, but it's great to finally get the most common sense use of this equipment finally implemented. Lastly today, Inside EVs tells us that Popular Mechanics has made Model 3 its car of the year for 2018. The quote of the article is at the end, where its author tells us that the car was so good that he put down a reservation following the review. Quote, But I think I could live with such compromises. In fact, I know I can, because when I get home, I do something that I've never done with any of the other thousands of cars I've tested. I put down a deposit. I pay my $1,000 and get in line. Maybe I'm number 450,001. Maybe I'm doing this because I enjoy supporting a guy who builds rockets and shoots cars into orbit. I don't care, because unlike almost everyone who's reserved a Model 3, I've actually driven one. I know that it'll be worth the wait, and while I wait, it makes me happy to think that sometime in 2019, I'll have the popular mechanics car of the year in my driveway. End quote. An amazing quote. I can't add anything to it.
Make sure you check out the links to the full stories in the show description. While you're at it, please consider supporting the show financially through Patreon at patreon.com slash Tidbits. Thanks very much to our super patrons out there supporting the show at the $10 plus level. They are John Waltower, Drew Schuyler, John Waller, Mark and Sarah Thomas, Ryan Scarborough, Lee Sweet, William Henry Crew III, Dory and Steve Guberman, Bruno Kundici, Joey Boots, Ralph and Cheryl Waterhouse, Adam Rainbow Brown, Megawatt Photovoltaic Development, Todd Sullivan, Robert Healy, Mitch Long, and Zortec LED Canada. If you can't support with dollars, be sure to show your love with positive reviews and subscriptions on YouTube, iTunes, and other services across the internet. That's it for tonight. If you have feedback for me, the best way to be heard is to tweet at Tesla Tidbits and use the hashtag AskTeslaTidbits if you'd like your question to be considered for the show. I'll see everyone back here again tomorrow. Until then, keep it charged and hit the road.